They call this the fight capital of the world for a reason. Almost all the big ones happen here. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is about as big as it gets. The trilogy comes to a conclusion tonight for the undisputed super middleweight championship. Canelo in his prime, 32 years old, five foot eight and a half, 70 and a half inch reach, about the same as Gennady Golovkin, who's 40 years old, but still says he has that magic. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. You cannot be saved by any man and by the bell in any round, and only the referee can stop the fight. Centering, gentlemen. Okay, trunks here are good. Trunks here are good. I'm gonna let you both work the top of the belt line. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you both. Touch up. Oh, boy. Triple G has waited four long years for this moment, but now that it's here, questions abound. Is he too old? Will his body break? Or does he have one last master performance yet? Because it will take a master performance to beat that man. Cal Alvarez, who has a real disdain for Triple H. He is about to end this fight in spectacular fashion and pick up the biggest and most satisfying win of his career. That's his goal. Here we go.
not a trilogy. Let's see it again. There you go. Should be outstanding. This goes beyond boxing. This is personal. Really? Really. Free testing and charging? And if you need a new one, we've got you. Really? Welcome to America's number one battery destination. AutoZone, your battery solution. tentative Triple G was in this first round. He needs to apply himself a little bit more. You know, as Sean said, he needs to take some of, you know, the game plans that Bibble had and display. Bibble's a ball rock. As Canelo just lands a big hook, but Triple G needs to apply more. But with the young, slipperier fighter, a more elusive fighter, and Canelo is going to be very hard. Yeah, Bibble get to that last fight. Fresher, bigger, stronger. He just had a lot more physical attributes at that stage of his career than Golovkin does. And one thing about Golovkin, he's never really been good at using his feet. So, to be able to avoid some of these shots, he's going to have to get out of the way. Yeah, when I asked Golovkin if he's going to follow a similar game plan as Bieber, he said, no, Bieber took a page out of my book, keeping the distance, the jab. So he's very confident Golovkin is into this trilogy. Good distance control by Triple G to avoid that one-two combo from Alvarez. Yeah, you can see the speed difference in Canelo's punches right now, but right now the timing and uh, the distance and the range, Golovkin's doing a good job keeping that. Haven't seen a lot of body work, if any, so far. No, no body, no body work yet from either, either fighter. Gol Golovkin seems as if he needs to see the target in order to go for it. He needs to start setting up them shots to create an opportunity to get a strong power shot. Golovkin's doing a good job moving uh, counterclockwise and not backing up like he did in that second fight. So he's boxing in circles, which is what you need to do in the middle of the ring. Canelo with a nice jab. Don't forget, he's got a pretty darn good one as well. It's not all about Triple G's jab. There it is again. And one area Golovkin's going to have to improve on to win this fight is accuracy with his power shots. There's a lot of attention paid to the volume punching of Golovkin having a punched Canelo in each of those first two fights. But Canelo was the far more accurate puncher, especially when it came to power shots. The sequence could one thing about Canelo is he'll hit your arm, he'll hit your shoulder, he'll hit anywhere that he can actually get to bring you down and to beat your body down. So maybe Canelo, I mean, Golovkin needs to do the same thing. Yeah, both these guys have different type of power. Uh, Golovkin has that dense power. He can hit you anywhere, like Daniel was saying, in the shoulder, and it could hurt. Canelo actually fight, uh, fights with uh, explosive speed, but you can hear the stump. Oh, nice overhand right from Canelo. Closing the distance. Nice double jab right hand by Golovkin right there. I would love to see Golovkin dig down to the body a lot more, a lot earlier. Well, if the first two rounds are any indication, we're going to have another. Who won this action after round 12? With direct TV, I can get live TV and on demand together. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. Whoops. Oh, no. The housewives are on the field. I repeat, the housewives are on the field. I just want to talk! Oh, no. Get your TV together. Call 1-800-DIRECT-TV to save up to $120. Golovkin right here with that left hook. Kind of caught. Golovkin off guard. Golovkin expected a straight jab. Came around with that hook. And then Golovkin comes back with his famous hook. Landed right on the cheek of Canelo. And he's Steph Curry. And round three. First two rounds very close. But what else is new when these two fight each other? It was interesting. Canelo said, I'm going after the knockout in round one. When we told Golovkin about that, he goes, you know what? It's all BS. He's just talking trash. He knows he's not going to knock me out in the first round. That was the first heavy 
shot thrown by Canelo to the body, blocked by Triple G. You can expect a lot more body shots coming soon. And Sergio, I'm with you about Golovkin paying more attention to the body. This has not been his game, especially in recent years. The first two nights, first two nights, he landed a combined total of 14 body shots. You, Sergio, and it's been showing so far. Canelo's been landing some pretty good shots and been making the marks on Golovkin's face already. One thing I remember about fighting Canelo in the fight that we had was that Canelo's very TikTok. -y. You have to sometimes time him. You have to be understanding that he's a trickster, you know? But watch his feet, watch his shoulders, because it all has to come together for him to make those power shots. Yeah, that's that improved upper body movement, because if you look at his feet, that flat foot, he's not much of a... I'm a world champion. There's people after me who want my title. There's no excuses. The pressure is on. This is legacy. Active recovery is essential. To get the most out of my training, to have longevity in this sport, I wear UFOs. All that work that you're putting on your feet, UFOs makes it easier. The technology is distinctive. UFOs keeps me at the top of my game.
Sanders. It's really a massive one right around what I'm seeing Canelo do. And Sergio, whenever you think about the ring generalship or the movement of Golovkin, he's just not throwing a lot of power shots back. It's just an occasional jab with nothing else behind it. Yeah, right now he's being uh, he upset by the game defender, so speed's not going to be on Golovkin's side. Just has been dictating the pace of this fight. Golovkin, I'll 
operating largely behind the jab, not landing many, if any, power shots of consequence. If he's going to win this fight, if he's going to get back into this fight, he's got to open up more.
solid, lovely new gas pipe. What Conabend kind of does have is options. I am my dad's son, for the good and the bad. He's my If I'm waiting, for as long as I'm waiting, it's a big one. Big fun.
point. How do you feel it's going for Gennady? There's the tooth in there fight. And I don't, I don't like the way it's going. I don't like the tooth in there fight. Because I want you to go to work. I want you to go to work. Stop! Like let go. I want him let to go. go to work and keep working. That's, that's what I would like to see. I want him to go back to work and let's keep working. How do you counter the speed advantage that Canelo has out there? Oh, you got to back him up. You got to start. You got to keep letting his hands go. You can't wait for him. Like you do in life. You got to be fast. You got to go forward. You got to be fast. You got to let his hands go. You got to do everything you've been working on. Just like you keep shooting that left hand down the middle. That's what it's going to take. They need to get back in this fight and get ahead like they want him to be ahead. That's all. Didn't want to say his fighter was losing, but you can tell in the expression on his face and the sound of his voice. He knows his fighter's in trouble. Now, we're not, we're not accustomed to seeing this tentative side of what used to be a, a monster. Golovkin is fighting like an older fighter. He doesn't want to take chances or put himself in position to get hit with the faster hands of Canelo. Look at what we see just now, Sergio, when they go hit for him, the faster man has his hands. And that was the thing between these two. That's changing because they're going to start punching. They're all the hacking, keeping up with the speed and the combinations of Canelo. Like what I'm seeing from Canelo also, Sergio. He's making those investments in the body this round. Maybe that'll be something that'll put the nail in the coffin. And maybe that's a strategy of this because we didn't see no body shots in the first half of the fight. But we definitely see them in the second half. No body shots from Golovkin, though. I think he's afraid of getting counter with the hand speed. So from a 40-year-old man who was in there with the young boy in Canelo, he has to do extra and go through the mouse action. Well, that's a great point because you have to bend your neck and it takes that five string and Golovkin doesn't, doesn't want to use that just yet. purpose of being a big bear so you can so you can have this shit this is why everybody's here this is the triple g show fuck him let's go to work let's go to work let's go galaki showed a flash of the big drama show here when canelo was against the rough like you said Tom. maybe canelo was just playing possum to get Kalaki to commit with some combinations. Which is a page, frankly, Second a pretty Golovkin book. I mean, Golovkin used to do a little bit of that, invite fighters in, take one punch to deliver two. Canelo turning the tables. Daniel, Canelo is out, landing Triple G to the body. 31 to six. That's incredible. Given those numbers, you know, you can see why Triple G is having the endurance problem that he's having. Aside from the age, those investments that he's been making been wear and tear away. The slow to the punches, and the second when they exchange to land. And I just think that he's been outclassed and outraged this evening. I still want to see more body shots from Canelo, just like that. Hit both sides of the body. Chris, how's your score card today? Let go, let go. I've got eight rounds to none in favor of Canelo. It's just really difficult to find a that Gennady Golovkin has won. He's being outlanded, he's being outworked. The ring generalship is on the side of Canelo here. And now he's going to have to do something special to win this one. So we're going right again from Canelo. The first two fights about as close as you could get. This one about as wide as you could get. Well, look, on one side, you're seeing a special fighter in the prime of his career, in the weight class, he's most comfortable. In front, punches in the side. A warrior, not back here, not back here. The one that's okay. 40 years old and you good? relatively inactive you good? over the last four years. You good? Okay. And the last one, Triple G landed 19 punches per round. In this fight, eight punches per round.
understanding the issue that he's having is maybe he's just too tired to. Maybe it's just a lot to put these combinations together and keep up with a very youthful guy like Canelo. He sees punches.
Watch your head, okay? Watch your head. I have an accidental headbutt. La raya, recupérate, faltan dos rounds. Ya te dio cortado, vas a ir a tirar todo porque va perdiendo la pelea. Aplícate.
Watch your hands. Watch your hands. He set it up for himself to make a good point to make a good impression to say hey, I'm here for greatness. I came up short, but I'm still that guy in his box with him. Steve Weisfeld and David Sutherland both scored this bout identically, 115 to 113, all three for your winner by unanimous decision. Yeah. 